Hello and welcome to another Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm YuGeek1 and today we're going to take a look at the latest Fedora 27. Uh, I'm running it in a virtual machine here and uh, yeah, let's just go through a quick uh, view of the newest Fedora. Um, as we boot it up we get a nice little interface here um, um, uh, showing off all the new features and uh, whatnot. So uh, if you click the launch applications you get a little tutorial on how just to launch some applications. So if you see we can go to activities and we have the little show applications thingy. And we get a lot of the applications here. Um, so what do they get? They got boxes. I don't know what that is. Let's open up and see what it is. Uh, state of art virtualization. Box can be virtual remote machines. Just hit the new button to create your first one. Well, let's create a new one. Source. Insert operating system, installation media, or select source below. Well, okay then. Um, seems to be some time, something like a virtual box. I have never heard of this before, but it looks very nice. So let's just cancel out of that and uh, close that one down. Um, what else? It's trying out some commands, probably. If you use your special key, your super key. And try type help. Ah, you get the activation thing when you press the super key. And like they showed there, help. You get up the help menu. That's cool. Well, that's for that thing. Um, switching tasks. What do they have here? So, we have a lot of applications. You can go activities. Let's open up uh, like Rhythm Box and uh, I don't know, like Firefox. Like so. We can uh, attach them to the other windows. Um, let's see what they do. Yeah, exactly. And uh, some commands, the super key and the tab. Let's see what that does. Ah, it's for switching applications then. Like, go to help, we are in help, Firefox, Rhythm Box. Okay. Well, that's neat. Let's uh, use works, windows, and workspaces. Let's watch that. and hold it will uh, full size on the workspace okay and just drag it away pretty intuitive I must say but Super key and uh, the left button and stuff. You get to uh, put it. Ah, I see. Super key and uh, it puts the window to the side or to the right. Up, down, full, and uh, minimized. Hmm. That's pretty neat as well. So yeah, that's that for that. Some nice, with some uh, pretty simple videos just showing off some simple stuff. And we have a lot of the common tasks, browse the web, connect, get online, change date, use the system search, and whatnot. Uh, let's not go through that, but uh, I think it's a very nice little help thing. All of the 
Uh, distros have that, but that was a very nice one, I must say. Um, let's close that one down and uh, take a look at uh, the applications once again. So they are using GNOME here. They have uh, the thing watch, calculator, calendar, jeans, uh, clocks, contacts. Mm, pretty simple uh, maps. What's that type of map they have? Um, so, ah, deny for now. Um, it doesn't seem to. Perhaps it's loading. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it seems to be stuck or something. Perhaps you need to uh, show it. Uh, well, that's not very good. <laughs> it crashed immediately. Uh, perhaps you need to show your uh, GPS locations or because I'm in a virtual box or whatnot. Um, do we have something uh, more interesting? Um, they have uh, weather, videos, um, utilities. Uh, what is here? You have the archive manager, characters, disk uses, analysis, disks, document viewer, fonts. Okay. Um, I thought we should uh, perhaps go through settings here. And uh, we can change some of the basic settings. Uh, let's see Wi Fi. Bluetooth, background, notifications, uh, search, privacy, yeah, some of the basics ones. Um, we're gonna take a look at the GNOME uh, shell and um, some extensions. Um, let's see if we can't install some. I prepared uh, a terminal here and using the sudo dnf install chrome GNOME shell and uh, I'm going to type in my password here. Let's see if we can't uh, install that shell. Um, extension, yeah. Let me go ahead. Let's see what happens. Complete. And when we have the GNOME shell extensions, we're going to install <laughs> uh, the Chrome as well. I uh, should have done that before, but <laughs> let's go ahead. Chromium, install. And let's see what happens. And when we have the Chromium installed here, um, we can go ahead and go into the Chrome. And uh, because we installed the GNOME uh, shell um, uh, manager for the Chrome, we can just go into the browser and uh, you will see that we have a little foot here. It is for the GNOME shell extension uh, website. And when we go to this website, um, uh, all of this we can add to our uh, GNOME command bars here and everything. We can just go ahead and click very easily on them. And you get a little on and off switch just to install it and uh, activating it. So here we have a sound input and output device uh, chooser. So now our sound has changed and we have uh, the options to use this software here. And if I click off, it's gone. So it's a very convenient way to add and uh, remove GNOME extensions. So let's see if we can find something else. Refresh Wi-Fi connections and just click on. It will be going for the installment. And if we click on the wire, uh, I'm just on a wire there, so perhaps it doesn't show. Let's pick something else then, shall we? Um, like system monitor. And uh, the system monitor is showing the CPU memory in the message tray. If we go on here and install, let's see if it pops up. Error. <laughs> that uh, doesn't seem to be very good then, but <laughs> hmm, perhaps something else. Um, uh, what is this Pomodoro? It's some kind of timer down. Whatever, let's try it and see if it works. Error there as well. <laughs> well, this is not going very well then. Um, can we have. Uh, Perhaps this sensor or something. Install. 
it has one uh, star here as well. Perhaps nothing works here. <laughs> Good thing when I try to show it off, but um, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, let's try this one, perhaps. Install. Here we go. Um, the caps lock thing here works. Just install it here, and we can see that my non lock is activated. If I press like my caps lock, it's off, on, off, on, off. So that works at least. Um, so yeah, you have a bunch of the uh, bunch of extensions here to go through if you want to. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty cool that you can customize pretty simply there. Just go ahead and install the. Um, uh, Chrome GNOME shell and uh, it's very easy to just install and uh, try and on and off all these things. So yeah, that's a quick look at uh, Fedora 27. Uh, I hope you guys liked it and uh, I think I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.